trying to build up a, the new economy and then um, in the 2000s now uh, it is going up and down so but we have some uh, what is it unemployed people a quite big range of unemployed okay. people so we are struggling <laughs> okay but it's all right yeah. we don't have to to blame it's just it's all right, but it's not very flourishing. Just good to live here. The climate is good. Mm -hmm. The wine is now just uh, finished. <laughs> <laughs> so the grapes. So we, we will have to do <laughs> in the next day. And everything's all right. I think it will be a good year for wine. So it's all right. Mm -hmm. so we are satisfied a little bit. Well, you know Germans always are a little bit unsatisfied and everything <laughs> um, and uh, I, I can no it's all right well our cathedral we are very proud of it or Catholic or, or Protestants or even Muslims are proud of our cathedral because it is a marvelous building it is one of the of the most um, beautiful examples of late Romanesque architecture it was done completely built in the 12th century, which means they started here 1120 around, and then it was ended in 1181. Um, compared to our building times today, this is a really short. And they could do it so, so quickly because uh, they used the the ground uh, walls of a former cathedral, oh. which brings us to the point that this is a very old settled point. There, there, was, there were several churches before that one, going back to the, um, to the, uh, the time of Charlemagne or even further back. And what we also know, the Romans had their temples here. Wow. This was a Roman city. Actually, we are not Trier. May, you have heard about Trier? It's a, a nearly complete Roman city in Germany. So they have, or Cologne, they have a lot of walls and buildings to show of that period 2,000 years ago. In Worms, people always used the material which was left behind and they built their own houses in the years after. So we have nothing to show, we only know because of the traces we find in, in the earth. The archaeologists, they know. Mm -hmm. So this church was done or was finished in 1181, built as a bishop's church, so a cathedral, which means bishop's church, and well, is done in the late Romanesque style, which means heavy walls, round bowls, no um, supports from outside. It's just uh, like a, well, like Martin Luther says, a mighty fortress. Maybe he was impressed when he came here, you know, that little monk and the whole empire in front. Maybe he was impressed by the building uh, which, which was so outstanding in the range of the other uh, houses around. So this shows the city of Worms in the 1550s. Wow. So some years after Martin Luther had to come here. And you see beside the cathedral, which is obviously the most important church here, we have a lot of more churches. We have a lot um, of towers, of chapels, cloisters, monasteries, whatever, because church was the, the base of this empire we were talking about. Um, church was not a private institution, so the emperor could rely on, more or less, uh, on this organization of <laughs> um, buildings, institutions, well, and even uh, ministers he could, could uh, request out of 
church clerics arranges. The Protestant church is greeting you. Good morning, it's, it's nine o'clock. Oh. Now wake up, you still good <laughs> Um, it's on the tower of the Protestant Church, we will end our tour there, um, and has a song, oh, um, uh, a song uh, uh, four times a day, no, uh, at no, uh, no, at seven, seven, nine, twelve, three, six, nine. So it, how much? Seven. Seven times a day it's, it's doing. Uh, and always a different melody. So it's really nice. So if you, if you uh, listen to it and if you take it um, serious, you, you should know what, what time it is. <laughs> but I, usually I don't hear it because I'm on my way and just uh, you, you, if you're used to, you don't hear it. So. This was Worms 500 years ago, and this is destroyed by the catastrophes I always, uh, I already um, referred to. Well, now let's have a look. Mm -hmm.